Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to find the area and we're going to use fractions. Here's our question. Our question today will have four parts. Here's part A. The floor of Sophia's bathroom is in the shape of a rectangle. She covered the floor with square tiles as shown. Part A, what is the width in feet of the floor? And here is your image. Go ahead and pause and solve and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we are asked to find the width of this rectangular shape and it's in feet, and we can see that each square on our grid represents one half of a foot. So we need to count the number of squares that make up the width. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So our width is six units or six squares, and each square is a half a foot. So we need to determine if each one is a half a foot, six times one half is equal to what? So I'm just gonna find out what half of something is. When you multiply, you're finding half of it. So if I have six cookies, I have half of that is three. So my answer is three feet, and that's part A. Moving on to part B. Part B asks to you to write an equation that can be used to find S, the area in square feet of the floor. I brought forth our answer from part A, which is we determined this width is three feet. I'm gonna ask you to pause and solve part B, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So in this part, we are asked to find S, the area in square feet of the floor, and we're not asked to solve, we're just writing an equation. So we're gonna start off with our area formula, which is that area is equal to length times width, and they've asked us to take A and represent it with the variable S or the letter S. So I'm gonna rewrite that. We are gonna replace A with S, and that is our area of the floor in square feet. Now we have length and width. Well, in the previous part A, we found out that the width was three or three feet. So we're gonna come up here and put that three in for W. So let's rewrite that part. So S is equal to the length times three. So now we need to go find the length. Over here, the length, we're gonna count the squares or units that represent this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have this length is now one, and now if we double them up, two of these make one. So we have nine altogether, but each one represents half a foot. So here's another way of doing that. Two squares make up one foot. So two, four, six, eight, and one left over, which is one of them is a half of a foot. So one plus one is two, three, four, and a half. So our length is four and a half feet, a different way to find it using this grid. So we're gonna take this four and a half and we're gonna bring it up and rewrite it for our length. So our S, our area, is equal to four and one half times three. Again, they just said to write the equation for part B, not solve it. Moving on to part C. Part C asks us to use your equation from part B to find S, the area, in square feet of the floor and show or explain how you got your answer. So here I brought forth what we came up with concluded for part B and I'm gonna ask you to pause and solve part C now. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So now we need to multiply four and a half by three. To multiply, we need to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. So two times four is eight plus one is nine. So four and a half can be rewritten as nine halves. And three written as a fraction is three over one. So now we're going to multiply the fractions by multiplying the numerators and then multiplying the denominators. Nine times three is 27 and two times one is two. So we have 27 halves, which can be rewritten as 13 and a half feet. Two goes into 27 
13 times with one as a remainder. So 13 and one half is our answer for the area of our floor if each grid represents a half of a foot. Here's our final part D. Sophia bought a rug. The rug covers two thirds of the floor. What is the area in square feet of the rug? Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause and solve now. Come back and hit play to check your work. Welcome back. So I'm gonna use this visual picture that we've been given to make a rug on this. We know that we counted that we're gonna say that our rug is two thirds of the floor and we're finding the area of that rug. So if we come down here, we have nine squares that we counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna divide this into thirds. So it divides evenly if I do this. So these are three equivalent rectangles. They are all the same number of squares. And now I'm gonna highlight or shade in two thirds of it because that's how much of the area is gonna be covered by a rug. Now I did it on the left side and they might center the rug in the room, but it doesn't matter. The area of the rug is gonna be the area of the rug. So now I need to find the area of that shaded area. And we're gonna say that this side is six units. Three plus three is six. And we had already determined that this side was had a width of six in previous part A. And we know that six of half foots, six times one half or half of six is three feet. So our rug is gonna be three feet by three feet. So when we go to find the area, our length and width are both three feet. Three times three is nine. So our area of our rug is nine square feet. And that's the answer to part D. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow and that you have a great day.